I don't think I could adequately express into words how excited I am for a for the second half of Ages of Shield to start tomorrow. Uh, they left us with a huge revelation and introducing Inhumans into the MCU uh, with the mid-season finale, and then tomorrow is the mid-season premiere. I have not watched. I, I, I have watched one trailer. That it, luckily it did not give any. It didn't really give anything away. So I have no idea what we're walking into. I'm so excited to see it. I, I mean, I mean, from the time that it ended and it introduced the Inhumans and Sky became Quake, uh, which is a character I learned about afterwards who she was. And then uh, I've been watching Agent Carter and I've been watching MCU movies and reading up on Age of Ultron and the Daredevil Netflix series and I've just been so wrapped up in the MCU and the biggest thing that I've been thinking about is how Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 is going to tie in to Age of Ultron which comes out in May 1st so we have two more months the longest 60 days of my life so we do know so we have heard confirmation that Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 will tie in to Age of Ultron uh, we haven't heard how. I haven't read any secret documents saying how. I haven't seen any any internet leaks saying how. They've just said that it will tie in to Age of Ultron, just like Season 1 tied in to Winter Soldier. Uh, they went pretty big with that. Uh, as soon as Winter Soldier hit, they uh, they amped up the action and the story, and it, and it got great. So, and, and already, they've already, they've already surpassed expectations with uh, the Inhumans and that mid-season finale was amazing. So they're, they're already pretty much amped up. Uh, I'm, I'm really curious about how it will tie in to Age of Ultron. I have my own speculations, so I could be completely off, but th these are my own ideas. So we do know, we know it ties into Age of Ultron, and we know that Stark in this, in this movie, in this adaptation of Age of Ultron, Stark created Ultron to basically take the place of the Avengers so that they don't have to put their lives on the line anymore so that they can you know sit back and have a life uh, and not have to worry about dying every other week when a supervillain shows up that Ultron and the other Ultron bots would basically protect the world and take care of that for them uh, obviously that goes wrong and that's what we'll see in the movie I have a feeling that the, the way that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to tie in will be is that we'll see kind of the culmination of Stark creating Ultron. Uh, from season one, we know that Maria Hill is working with Stark to kind of privatize world security, basically make their own version of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, so I would not be surprised, and I honestly, I think this is likely, that through the rest of, the se th through the rest of this season, at some point, we are going to see either Maria Hill or Tony Stark himself, because Robert Downey Jr. has said he would love to be uh, in the show. So I have a feeling that they would definitely try to make that happen. So I wouldn't. So I'm I'm speculating that Tony Stark and Maria Hill are going to come in and use their resources that they've been using to privatize world security and join up with Coulson and basically rebuild Shield to what it was before it crumbled with Hydra and Winter Soldier. Coulson has also not liked being director of S.H.I.E.L.D. He has said it many times. He is not Nick Fury. He cannot uh, compartmentalize. He cannot. He does not uh, believe in acceptable casualties like Nick Fury did. He is not full of secrets like Nick Fury was. He is not liking being the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I think it's also entirely likely that by the end of this season, he might step down as, uh, as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D and let either Maria Hill or Stark take over. Uh, and not like, you know, a hostile takeover, but become the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., either Maria Hill or Stark, which absolutely sets the stage for, um, for Civil War, which happens next summer, I believe. So, with that taking place, and also with the introduction of the Inhumans, and I genuinely think that the Inhumans are going to uh, have a role in Civil War as the new superheroes that screw up and cause the events in Civil War to happen, uh, I think they're going to be involved. So that's my speculations of what's going to happen with the rest of the season. I think that S.H.I.E.L.D. and Tony Stark are going to combine with their resources and make new S.H.I.E.L.D. I think Maria Hill or Tony Stark are going to replace Coulson as director. I think the Inhumans are going to play some part in that. 
uh, and also leading up to Civil War and screwing up uh, hell for all we know. No, probably not. I was thinking that maybe that could be the season finale, but that would be more like a season finale of next season, if that even would happen. I don't know. That's the speculation that just came to me just now. Uh, so that's my speculations. What do you think? Do you think I do you think I could be at all right, or do you think I'm totally way off? Uh, I've been I've been wrong before. In the first half of this season, I thought that the Diviner, the Obelisk that everyone was trying to get, was an Infinity Stone, and I was way off. It was a Terrigen Crystal, and I was like, "What is a Terrigen Crystal?" And then I found out, and I was like, "That is awesome!" So I could be way off, and if I am, it'll probably be for an incredibly awesome reason. Let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think is going to happen with the rest of the season? Let me know in the comments. You can get me on Twitter, Facebook, and all over the internet. Also, subscribe to my channel so we can geek out some more. But until then, have fun.